to do on the farm today. I just finished getting bread ready. It's on the first drive, so we'll have some fresh bread later. And I made potato salad in the Instant Pot, my favorite appliance that I have. Um, so we'll have steaks tonight for dinner. Uh, now we need to go out and we're going to mow the grass. And we also have some garden weeding to do with all the rain that we've had in the last month. It's been crazy here in Indiana. Um, so the weeds have kind of started to take over and we need to get it back in check. And then we have some rototilling to do. I don't know how much we'll get done today, but we'll see what we can do. You can kind of see behind me. I have some of our seedlings ready. Um, they say that you can plant after Mother's Day weekend here in central Indiana. I'm not sure I want to take that chance just yet. So um, we'll just see what we can get done. Hopefully we'll get those in the ground in the next week or two. And then over here we have more seedlings. And a lot of those can go in now because they are just um, the cauliflower, broccoli, kale, spinach, the kind of things that can handle cold temperatures. So um, they're doing good and I'm hoping we get a lot done today. Tomorrow is Mother's Day and I know that the kids want me to do nothing tomorrow but I'll probably end up in the garden which is fine with me. So, so far we've only tilled a little portion of our garden. All that's going to be garden two. But we, we had to get our peas in. And you can like barely see the peas through all the weeds. But there's one. They go all down that row. As you can see, we are covered in weeds. So hopefully I'll make a dent in this today. Had the bread rising for an hour. It did beautifully. So now I'm gonna punch it down and put it into two loaf pans. And then we wait another hour before we can bake it. I used to be so intimidated on, about making bread. I thought it was so hard. And then I made a loaf and it turned out perfect and I was like, well that's not so hard. I must be doing it wrong. I, I, I made several loaves of bread since then, but it was never really something I thought was worth the time. You can just go buy bread at the store and cook it in flour. Um, but in January, I decided to make myself a challenge of not buying any bread for a whole month. <clears throat> and I did. I made bread every week. This recipe that I'm doing now makes two loaves of bread, which will usually last about a week, and they're just a 9 by 5 pan size. And that lasts me about a week. We use it for sandwiches and toast, French toast. When I'm making French toast, I have to make two loaves just for that, but um, so anyway, I made myself a challenge and I was thinking, well, I'll just um, start making my own bread. Once I go ahead, went ahead and um, succeeded on making bread for a whole month, it really wasn't that hard of, to just add it into my schedule. We're home most of the day, every day anyway. So I started doing that. And then I made a challenge on Facebook and on my blog um, for February where a bunch of ladies joined me and we did a challenge for February. For fresh baked February, we all made our own bread. 
And that was such a success that I just kept doing it. And we got sick for a while. Hi, bud. Um, she's not in here. We got sick for a couple weeks in March, and I didn't make much bread. And April kind of followed suit. I didn't make much then either because we were so busy. And now it's May, and we're out of bread. And I don't want to buy any, so we are starting to make bread again. The girls want to make French toast tomorrow, so I'm going to make some loaves for that, and then I'll have to make another batch for just our sandwiches. Okay. And then tonight we're also having homemade pizza. So that's a lot of dough in one day. But it's it's easy. It's so much cheaper than buying pizza out at the store or the restaurant. And it's way better. So if you haven't made bread yet, I suggest you give it a try. It's too easy. Now I'm going to set these over here on the stove for about an hour, and then they'll be ready to bake. I wanted to give you a bit better of the view of the bread before. So this is after it rose in the bowl, and I made them into loaves. Now they're going to rest in these pans for an hour, and I'll show you what they look like afterwards. And I just put a piece of beeswax wrap that I made on top, and put them on the stove under a light. All right, the bread rose, it looks beautiful. And now I'm just going to brush it with some melted butter. And then we'll bake it in the oven for 35 minutes at 325. I think the butter really helps, it gives it a nice soft top instead of it being crunchy. Now some breads you want to have that crunchy texture but when you're having like a sandwich bread I don't particularly like the crunching texture so the butter makes it nice. And then when it comes out of the oven um, I will brush, brush it with butter again. Ready to go. There they are, all done. I already brushed, brushed the butter on top. Nice and soft. And it smells so good in here. This is our garlic. It's on our the corner of our patio. And I put this triangle over it because our cats, when I first planted it, the cats kept um, digging in it and trying to use the bathroom. So I put the triangle of shelving on it. We had a great day. We got the grass all mowed. The yard looks great. And we got the garden all tilled. We also planted more peas in the spots that the that hadn't grown. And then we watered it. We got, I think we got everything done on our list that we wanted to get done, which is pretty amazing. And we got to have our steak dinner, which was delicious. And now the sun's going down, and we're getting ready to tuck our girls in for the night. I hope you all had a good day, and I hope you have a great Mother's Day tomorrow if you're a mother out there. If you have a mama still, please go give her a hug, a call, tell her you love her. And we'll see you guys next time.